picture. <laughs> to the picture. Yes. And just do the best you can. Yes. They look like different. Did you guys feel like scientists? No. Are you all done or do you want to learn one more thing? One more thing. Yeah. Okay. We talked about classifying things into solids, liquids, and gases, right? Well, just like you can classify things into mammals and then classify them further into different genuses and different species. You can classify solids further into different kinds of solids. Okay, and there are two main categories of solids. They're called crystalline. Do you guys all say crystalline? Crystalline. And amorphous. Amorphous. Amorphous butterfly. <laughs> Amorphous butterfly. So who, who wants to raise their hand and take a guess at what crystalline means? Shiny. Shiny. Shiny stone. Shiny stone. Okay, what about amorphous? Something that you can change if you touch it. It can be like weenie and yellow. Okay, why do you think that? Yeah. Because it's amorphous. You can kind of morph it. What is morph? Change. change. You can change it into okay. a cat. Okay, you so cannot change an elephant. So maybe an amorphous solid is something that can be changed. Like yeah. Play Doh. Play Doh. And those noodles. Big. You think those are the amorphous solids? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think that this is the solid? Hey, things would you stop? Things which you cannot change, like this magnifying glass, you can't go there. Hi, my name is Xibi Bibi. <laughs> 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 All right, so next week we are going to play around with what the molecules look like and the way the molecules behave in amorphous solids and in crystalline solids. Okay? And you guys can think about that until we meet again. And see if you have any ideas about what they might look like. Don't be afraid to cheat and lick it up.